Hello YouTube, it's the Heartwood Farmer here. Uh, I wanted to give a, a, a quick video about a little project that we have going on in this circle um, that is uh, falls between the arms of our U-shaped driveway. Uh, when we bought this property three years ago, um, this was grass lawn, which I mowed. Mowed it for three years, mowed it last year. Last year I realized that mowing this was a colossal waste of my time and failed to utilize this space for anything useful. Now, that's not to say that lawns cannot uh, be useful. We keep some lawn in the backyard for the kids to play on. Um, where it's just grass that I mow, that's where they have their little jungle gym. I don't plant clover in it because I don't want the honeybees to be in there for the kids to step on. Um, lawn has its place. Um, but uh, I believe that a person needs only so much lawn uh, to play on and the rest of the property can be useful. Um, and so what we chose to do with this circle last year was to plant uh, two things. One is daffodil bulbs. We planted uh, several hundred yellow and white daffodil bulbs. Uh, they were real tiny ones uh, that were dug from some clumps that hadn't been divided in several decades. So the bulbs are real small. They didn't bloom this year, but we did get lots of daffodil foliage that came up. Um, and these leaves are photosynthesizing and feeding the bulbs. So next year, uh, some of them will bloom and the following year, I hope most of them will. Um, and in the early spring, uh, you know, early March um, is when the daffodils usually b bloom. I hope that this will just be a, a carpet of red and white daffodils. Um, and while those are blooming, our crimson clover will be growing. And coming into bloom in April, and crimson clover will bloom at least through May. Uh, I think it will go longer than that. Um, but you can see that doesn't look like what most of us think of as clover. Those blossoms look like little flames, little crimson flames. They're just magnificent blossoms um, on a fairly tall stalk. There's, I don't know, there's, the, the tall ones might be six inches or eight inches. Um, but it just forms this lovely carpet of crimson blossoms. Now this stuff reproduces, uh, it's an annual, it reproduces from seed. So we will let this, uh, this clover go to seed each year and it'll spread and become thicker in this circle, we hope. So that after the, you know, as the daffodils are finishing their bloom, this clover will be beginning to bloom uh, and we'll have a, an unbroken panorama of, of bloom from early spring till very late spring or early summer. Now there are a number of benefits to this, one of which, not the least of which, is that I no longer have to mow it. Um, at least not until the crimson clover is done blooming. Um, like I said, I think that'll go into at least part of June. Um, and then we actually have some pink lady bulbs. The pink ladies send their leaves up in the spring and then the leaves die back and then the flowers come up in about September. So I will stop mowing this in September so that the crimson clover, the foliage, needs time to establish really well so that it'll go through the winter. And then those pink lady blossoms will come up. And this will be dotted with those beautiful pink lady blossoms um, from September on. 
uh, until the blossoms are done. Which means at most I'll have to mow the circle in uh, part of June, all of July, and uh, probably three quarters of August. And that's it. Um, so there's one benefit, much less mowing, which means much less pollution for my lawnmower. Um, and it saves me a lot of time. The other benefit is that these blossoms are loved by honeybees and bumblebees and ladybugs and all kinds of other insects that want the pollen and the nectar that are produced by these flowers. Additionally, uh, I've seen rabbits grazing in here. I imagine when the deer find it, they'll come back to graze it. Uh, we'll see if that becomes a problem. Um, another benefit is that this is beautiful. I much prefer to look at blossoms and growing things than a lawn mowed short. And so I think that as this, as this project matures, this circle will become just a, a magnificent display of natural beauty for a good portion of the year. So I just wanted to share this little project with you as, as one small way that we at Hartwood Farms are trying to help our ground that we have stewardship over to be productive and to be uh, harmonious with nature by growing things and, and enjoying the beauty of nature. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope that it's inspired you to find a spot of ground in your property, whether it's flower pots on a balcony or whether it's a corner of your, your yard, um, and, and go find something to plant in it something that blooms, that's beautiful to behold, that smells nice, and that is, is useful to nature and is useful to you as you enjoy the sights and the smells of the blossoms and as you come out and listen to the humming of the bees that are enjoying the bounty that you've provided them. So if you've liked what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up at the bottom of the screen and subscribe to our channel uh, where you will see um, the other projects that we are working on uh, to make our little farm as productive as possible to live sustainably with nature. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in another video.